Hi, uh, here and here I am in this uh, ex-Soviet city of uh, Vitebsk in Belarus and today I'm going to be talking about something that you know would be interesting to some people, right? Um, one thing that I've noticed here uh, over the past few days, I've been here probably almost a week, is that a lot of women um, in their 20s and 30s but even after that, right, even the older lady folk, um, they seem to be very conventionally attractive by Western standards, right? And I'm talking about a majority of them, like seriously. Uh, the reason why I'm choosing my word very carefully is that, of course, beauty is a really subjective thing. So, you know, especially in Western countries, what one person might find attractive uh, is not, uh, does, does not apply to every other person as well. But it's just an observation that I made uh, here. And last year when I was in the Ukraine, I also saw the same thing. When I was in Poland visiting, also, also, right? So pretty much, um, not only is it interesting, but I think there are basically three main reasons for this. So number one is the diet themselves. So um, I've heard that here in Eastern Europe generally, a lot of the meat and vegetables are fresh. And by fresh, I mean that um, the animals are less likely to have gone through you know, the antibiotic uh, growth treatment. The plants are less likely uh, to be full of pesticides. So because of that, I've even heard that some foreigners who have lived um, in this part of the world, even after a period of time, and they think that they're eating quite a lot, but they still don't seem to gain weight. So that's one reason, the nutrition, the food intake, right? And another reason also seems to be the fact that people walk everywhere, so they're less likely to become obese, um, men and women alike, any age range, right? So as you can see, down here is the public transport. Um, these are called trolley buses, they're attached to the top. Yeah, and the red one here is just a normal bus, and later you might get to see what's called a mashrutka, a, a little minivan. Okay, so even those people taking public transport, they usually have to walk a fair way from their homes to get to the public transport itself. So that's why, you know, it's just such a healthy lifestyle that their food is good and they're walking a lot of the time. Okay, a third thing would be something that's slightly more cultural in that, you know, culturally, uh, they take pride in the way they look. Um, and I'm, I'm not trying to be, you know, pejorative towards people in the Western world. But um, you know how people in the Western world, they value a self-expression, uh, including the ways they look, right? Uh, and they value that uh, above, you know, they value individuality over most other things. Well, here in Eastern Europe, there's a, there's a lot more, you know, um, pressure to conform. So that's why the women here, sometimes it's a bit overkill, but even if they're just going out to the shops, to the supermarket, they might even, uh, you know, dress really nicely and put on a lot of makeup. And yes, it can be a little bit overkill, right? A bit over the top sometimes. But just simply because of that, um, they, they present themselves in a way that, you know, looks very nice. So even if they're dressed a bit like a hippie, um, they still make sure that they don't wear torn clothes. Unless it's, you know, those kind of jeans with like intentionally bits uh, that are slightly shredded at certain points. But apart from being a fashion statement, uh, they're dressed rather conservatively. And, and this is just something I noticed in general. So to sum it all up, right, um, good diet, food that's free from, well, that has less antibiotics and preservatives, right, pesticides. Uh, that's point number one. Point number two is the fact that they walk a lot more often. It's just part of their lifestyle. The city is not that big. And number three is the way they dress up really conforms to the standards. So that being said, of course, see, even the older ladies, she doesn't look too bad. Um, even though the country, you know, might not be as prosperous, but, but still is yeah, it's quite good. A uh, public official, yep, and another well-dressed lady. Yes, yeah, so it's just something interesting that I observe. So by no means am I saying that, you know, 
Eastern European and Slavs are genetically superior in terms of how they look but it's just how they present themselves um, any person who are exposed to a similar set of you know uh, s sort of lifestyle based circumstances and culture based circumstances would certainly look conventionally attractive by western standards so here you go a bit of a crowd here fantastic day well i hope you enjoyed this little video and remember you know i'm just saying it as it is saying what i observe from being in a couple of these uh, ex-soviet uh, or eastern european countries and i hope you have a wonderful day